4.05 p.m. Wednesday, 2nd of August, 2017. So I am uh, going to get ready to go to the course. This is day two of the um, course. I'm going to... And there's this bluish hue. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so yeah. I didn't eat my veggie stew. I, I, I have it prepared, but I'm going to eat it. I'm going to cook it after I come home. Because um, yesterday, after I came home, I ate some more food. <laughs> so I was thinking, nah, I don't want to do this. Nah, nah. So I'm, um, I want to incorporate some kind of uh, intermittent fasting into my diet. It's a, like a spiritual discipline. Um, so yesterday's class, yes, it was interesting. I mean, I told in, in the beginning you have to uh, confidentiality. Um, I'm not going to talk about other people. I'm only going to talk about me. Um, in the beginning, uh, I, I, I'm not saying there's a confidentiality agreement, but I want to talk about other people. So even if we're introducing, <laughs> I I told them the truth. I was admitted last year. Uh, I want. I can't get a job. I'm doing on work for the doll and uh, the teacher. You know, she's saying like, uh, oh, one thing she she mentioned. Yeah, I don't know if I should say this, but apparently, um, ageism. Ageism is like the most uh, prevalent form of discrimination in uh, the work. The workforce. Uh, today is ageism um, so, so apparently like all of these um, firms are firing older people and trying to replace them with young people but then there's this huge problem because the older people they know how the company works it's like they get getting rid of middle management or something and that's creating a problem because uh, the newer workers, they don't have a lot of experience. So apparently these firms are rehiring those middle management people on a contractual basis. <laughs> That's what I heard. Anyway, so, uh, you know, you know, she talked about like how, because in the legal profession, right, the one good thing about this is age isn't, age isn't going to be a barrier to like even if you're like 60 70 whatever you can still work because in fact so some of the you know i mean judges work till they're 75 i think or 70 anyway um and if some of these barristers are you know they're quite you know they're older and the more the more experience you have the better it is almost like uh, <laughs> it's like it's like you know the person who who has a high, so, so age isn't like a, a negative thing in uh, if you're going to work as a lawyer or something it's actually might be even a good thing because um you know you, the more experience you have the more um you know it's like it's like one of those professions where um the experience is actually a valuable thing. Like if you're a doctor or whatever, it's like the, an experienced surgeon. He might be 50 or 60, I don't know, maybe, 50, but you know, he, he could be old, uh, or quite older, but still he might be valuable because if he can still perform his, you know, like su su surgeon, like, okay, it requires some physical dexterity, but if you have a sound mind and, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, wisdom that comes from experience. So that, so not all like you know, some jobs. The older you get, it might be harder to do because it might be manual labor or it might be something else. You know, 
So that's one good thing, you know, I felt, uh, you know, like, oh yeah, that's good, that's true. You know, if I want to work as a lawyer, I don't have to worry too much about the age because, uh, you know, uh, I can still, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 30, I'm going to be 39 soon. So, uh, you know, some, like, my principal solicitor, anyway. anyway, so the age isn't such a big thing for me. I mean, it, I wish I started earlier, but... Another thing I heard was apparently like the there's a high court judge, um, and the high court is the highest court in the land, and 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 she she didn't finish high school. She actually worked as a paralegal, and then from she worked her way up, and then she ended up becoming the high and high court judge. And there's another judge who is a very famous judge. He also apparently, you know, so you no. Know, Law is a field you can actually, if you have, if you really want to do it, you know, you can do it, um, provided you haven't, uh, <laughs> you're not a criminal or fuck things up so badly. But even as a criminal, I I remember reading about this um this lady this woman, she was uh, actually convicted for trafficking drugs, I think she was in Queensland or something, and she served prison time um for like she she was a drug I, I think she was in like selling drugs so it was a and she served for her prison term and then after that she actually uh, got her law degree and uh you know she was so involved in the community and rehabilitation and things like that and so even though she had this major drug conviction, she still got accepted as a barrister because um, the Bar Association took into account that she, you know, rehabilitated herself and she's providing a very positive service to the community. So even, even like if you really mess things up, it's not like completely out of the possibility, you know. Um, but those things are kind of rare but the, the, yeah so there is she is I think she's still a barrister so she's um, I think she works in criminal law I think I don't know I, I read that somewhere so anyway so you know I, I told them you know, like, uh, you know I'm, I, it's very hard I've, I've been struggling to find work even as an admin assistant or whatever and you know I was still like you know you can go to firms and you know i'm gonna try doing that going to firms and saying hey uh you know just showing up and saying hey um i, I wouldn't mind doing volunteer work because if you can do if you can do get volunteer work you just need to get your foot in the door once you get your foot in the door things can open up but just the starting out is just so difficult it's like but if you really are determined to do it you can do it if you're really determined to do it you can do it um so, you know, I was honest about who I am, uh, my circumstances, I didn't try to hide it. You know, I told them, you know, I graduated. Apparently, I was reading the, uh, what, this magazine. Apparently, the, my law school, a couple of years ago, it was, lang it was ranked 12th in the world. So, that was pretty cool. You understand where you are? I don't know what they rank now, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if those things matter because you can you can go to any law school and like and you can still. Um, it really depends on what you do with what you have. Um, you know, lots of people go to prestigious universities and you know they don't end up doing much, and some people go to universities out there and then because um, they apply themselves and they end up having a very successful career because sometimes when you you know when I was uh, um, so yeah forget about that law school thing <laughs> ego ego <laughs> boosting my ego self like grandizement oh these different things um, because when I was young, I wasn't really into studying. I was like always playing, you know, just, I wasn't really, what I mean by playing, I wasn't really focused on studies. 
So even like, so I mean, so you can change your ways anytime, you know. Um, you know, so. Anyway, I mean, that sounds hopeful, but, you know, you just have to see how life goes. Because, you know, for every person who became a high court judge, how many people failed? Hmm? 100,000 failed. <laughs> so, so there is that thing about life. Like, every, yes, there is the person who succeeded, but how, look at all the the broken bones and the bodies of the people who tried the same thing and failed and you know it's like that's life like the you look at the success stories but then no one looks at all the people who actually tried to do the same thing and they failed no one looks at that the cost of it so i'm, I'm, I'm just i'm not saying you know, you know my life's not worth it but hey you know It's inspiring sometimes to listen to someone, but I guess also need to have a realistic perspective as well, you know. We need to have a realistic perspective. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm in an okay place. I'm in an okay place in life. It's not that bad, you know. I feel like I'm in an okay place, mm. and uh, I can uh, continue to <clears throat> apply myself, work on myself. I saw some. Um, I was actually um, I was reading this article on how to uh, reduce your shoulder shoulder um, size and maybe I'll tweet it uh, you know reduce your shoulder size and apparently you can you know do some exercises to make your um, hips and whatever um, um, get bigger and uh, you know. it's called how to lose weight uh, oh this is for women uh, you know. How to lose weight in the shoulders of women, and uh, oh, so they might have... Oh shit! Anyway, my disc is becoming full. Uh, so yeah, so you know, I'm just wearing a normal top thing, and um, yeah, so I'll go. Uh, oh, that pimple is really there. Yeah, pimple. Um, yeah, you know. Life is difficult. You know what's going to happen, but um, just do it one thing at a time. Because there are the inspiring stories of success, but then, there, what about all the people who tried and failed, and no one hears about them? It's like evolution. I bet there were so many life forms competing for survival, and then we don't we don't know they existed. Because uh, anyway, um, yeah, well, okay, <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, so I'm going home. Finish day two. Computer work, so it was fun. Fun. <laughs> yeah.